Hello, my name is Heather McTier Tony, and I serve as Vice President for Community Engagement in the U.S. for the Environmental Defense Fund. Uh, I am a graduate of Spelman College uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, and I received my law degree from Tulane University School of Law. And when thinking about moments of trying to make a decision, going one path or another throughout my career, I have had plenty of those. One that comes to mind though, from when I was in college, had to do with making decision um, regarding my major, what I wanted to do when I graduated from undergrad and really going on and trying not to follow what my family and my father had done for years. My dad is a noted uh, civil rights attorney out of the Mississippi Delta. And I had heard all of my life that that's what I was going to do and was completely determined not to do that. So it was actually in the summer of my junior year, headed to my senior year, when I decided that I would take part in a program called Africa Crossroads. This was a program, sort of a precursor to the Peace Corps, but used a lot of the tenets of the Peace Corps. And they were starting their first all-female team to work in Kenya and work on issues that were related to women in and throughout the community. And so I jumped on board. Uh, I signed up, decided that I was gonna go, and lo and behold, I was selected. When I got ready to leave, I realized that I was one of the only African-American women in this team of seven that was heading to Kenya. And when I arrived, it was uh, a multitude of dynamics. One of being the first time that I had ever set foot on the continent of Africa and all of the overwhelming feelings that came along with um, belonging and finding space. At the same time, it was this awareness of not belonging, um, of uh, isolation and being the one uh, person that didn't really feel like I had a place among my white American colleagues or my uh, African brothers and sisters that I had just come to meet. And so it was actually at that moment and in that space that I not only had an opportunity to really think um, about how and where I fit into the work that I wanted to do, um, what was that work that I wanted to do, and then um, being more intentional about connecting with people uh, and the opportunities that were available not only in the U.S. and not only through um, my family's historic and really, I think, um, deeply placed social justice work, but what it just meant to me as a human being, as an individual, as a Christian. Uh, and I spent a lot of time talking to God those three months that I was in Kenya. And when I came away, I came away with the feeling that I wanted to work with people. Uh, I wanted to be an interpreter to people. I wanted to ensure that I was utilizing all of the gifts that I had been granted and opportunities that I had been granted to make my own space in this world. And that there were so many places to do that with. When I got back, I decided to take the LSAT. And that was the point that I decided that I was going to go to law school and become an interpreter uh, of legalese for all kinds of people and really bringing equity to law and process. Uh, and over and throughout my career, that has yielded a number of avenues that have opened up to the space where I now uh, work very happily on environmental policy, climate and equity, but it certainly all points back to that moment when I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I'm so glad that taking those that time just to listen and to think really helped me um, to make those decisions. So if there's any advice that I would give you, it would be stop, take a deep breath, and just listen. The answers are not always what you think they are. And here's a hint, there's not necessarily a right one. It's the one that you feel deeply in your heart, really moves you to do work that is passionate, work that is fruitful, and work that is legacy building.